sixth grade, module two, lesson one, classwork. Example one, three-fourths gallon of batter is poured equally into two bowls. How many gallons of batter are in each bowl? So I'm going to draw three-fourths. Separate this into fourths, and then I'm going to shade in three-fourths. One-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths. Now, it is poured equally into two bowls. So if we split this equally into two bowls, I'll partition it into two bowls. So we have bowl one here and bowl two here. We want to know how many gallons of batter are in each bowl. So notice when we divided this into two equal pieces, it split it from fourths into eight pieces. So in each bowl, like in, for example, in bowl one, we have one, two, three out of a total, four, five, six, seven eighths. So there are three eighths gallons in each bowl. Example two, three-fourths pan of lasagna is shared equally by six friends. What fraction of the pan will each friend get? So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start out with three-fourths. So there's one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths. Now it's shared equally by six friends. So I'm gonna split that into six. Okay, so there it is. Split into six equal pieces. So there's friend one, two, three, four, five and six. Now each friend would get one, two, three. We're not counting that piece because it was they didn't they only ate three fourths of the pan. They didn't eat all four fourths of the pan. So one, two, three pieces or three parts out of if we have this is a four by six friends out of twenty four. So each friend ate three twenty fourths uh the pan. Or if you wanted to simplify that, 3 24ths is equal to 1 8th. But either one will work. Exercise 3. A rope of length, 2 fifths meters, is cut into four equal cords. What is the length of each cord? So 2 fifths meters. There's one fifth, two fifths. It's cut into four equal cords. One, two, three, and four. So there's one chord, two chords, three chords, four chords. And so we want to know the length of each chord. So let's just look at chord one. There's chord one. So shaded is one, two parts out of a total parts. We had a five by four, so 20. So it's two twentieths, which would be equal to one tenth. So the length of each chord would be one tenth of a meter. Fill in the blanks to complete the equation. Then find the quotient and draw a model to support your solution. So we're gonna jump from where we were just drawing models up here to trying to kind of make this a quicker way to solve these types of problems. So if you notice, these all turned into multiplication problems. So it all turned into, for example, this one turned into two fifths times we had one fourth. So here's the one fourth part, and here's the two fifths part. Because what we were doing was taking, we were finding, we're 
2 fifths divided by 4. But really, we were also finding 1 fourth of 2 fifths. Because we wanted to know if we're dividing it by 4, we're finding a fourth of something. We only want to know how much a fourth of it is. So, and remember, of means time. So we can take these and make them into multiplication problems. So for example, if we have 1 half divided by 3, that would be the same as saying, we could draw a picture first. So we have 1 half, and we split it into three parts. So this part right here would be equal to 1 sixth. Now this part up top, this I think it's printed wrong because I think this should be 1 third. So if that were a 3 at the bottom, it would be 1 third because here's the 1 third and here's the 1 half. So it would be 1 third times 1 half is equal to 1 sixth. So just pretend that this number right here says 3 instead of 2. Number 2. 1 third divided by 4 is equal to 1 fourth. So they took the 4 and made it into 1 fourth times it will be 1 third. So that would be equal to 1 twelfth. 1 times 1 is 1. 4 times 3 is 12. But we need to also draw a model so let's do that. So we have one third so there's our one third times one fourth. Here's our one fourth. And we get one piece shaded out of twelve. Remember back in third fifth grade when we would do the shading and we'd find the colors that were overlapping. This is the exact same thing. So bringing that in from fifth grade. Find the value of each of the following. So these, we don't need to draw any models. We're just going to turn them into multiplication problems. So we're going to turn five into one fifth and we'll have one fifth of one fourth or one fifth times one fourth, which would be one twentieth. Next one, three fifths divided by five would be three fifths times one fifth or three twenty fifths. And then the last one, five, one fifth divided by four would be one fifth times one-fourth is equal to one-twentieth. And the last problem, it says solve. Draw a model to support your solution. So three-fifths pint of juice is poured equally into six glasses. How much juice is in each glass? Let's draw a picture. We have three-fifths pints. and it's poured equally into six glasses. So I'm going to split it into six. So here's the three-fifths right here, and then this would be our one-sixth. So we would make it three-fifths times one-sixth is equal to we have three overlapping both colors out of 30 total parts, so 3 thirtieths, which if we wanted to reduce that, we could make that 1 tenth. So there's 1 tenth pint in each glass.